Here are a couple examples of uh, running hypothesis testing about a mean using technology. So in this first example, uh, there is a data set. We could actually look at the raw data, but we have all the information here we need with 106 right, body temperatures with a mean of 98.2 and a standard deviation of 0.62. We're going to use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that mean body temperatures of the population is equal to 98.6. So let's just write all that information down. We have uh, N equals 106. We have X bar equals 98.2. And we have the standard deviation of our sample. 0.62. Okay, step one is identify the claim right here and write our hypotheses in symbols, right? The null hypothesis is that the average of the population is equal to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So the alternative is that it's not equal to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Step two, select our alpha level, which was already selected for us. So alpha equals 0.05. Step three, determine uh, which sampling distribution we're using. Well, we're dealing with means, and we have a standard deviation of our sample, but not a standard deviation of the population. So we're going to be doing the T distribution. Right? When would we use the Z? We would only use the Z if we knew the standard deviation of the population, which we don't. Now we need to calculate our test statistic. Now we can do that by hand or let technology do it for us. How about we let technology do it? Go to stat, T statistics, right? Because we're dealing with T's, one sample with a summary. The average, right, of our uh, the sample mean was uh, ninety-eight point two. The sample standard deviation was point six two, and our sample size one o six. We're hypothesizing that the mean is ninety-eight point six, and we're just looking for a not equals, right, a two-tailed test. We're going to compute we get our T statistic there of negative 6.642 and our P is less than 0, 0.001. That's what we're always going to see in technology when it's it's too small. right? If, if you rounded you would just have a bunch of zeros there then they just tell you that it's less than 0. 0.0001. Okay so that was um, right this was step two Right. This was the first part of step three. Uh, the real part of step three, your uh, test statistic, your test statistic is t equals negative six point six four two. The p value. is less than zero 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 one. So now we can determine whether or not we reject and since we have a tiny p value, right, much smaller than alpha, we reject the null, which means we're kind of favoring the alternative. So now we write it out in English and it's basically something along the lines of um, the data do not right, support the claim that mean temps equal 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, makes sense.
let's try one more. Here we have uh, brain volumes of just a random sample of subjects used in some sort of study. We're going to use a significance level of 0.01 to test the claim that the population of brain volumes has a mean equal to 1100 uh, centimeters cubed. All right, into technology we go. I'm going to have to move this down so I can type these in. 163, 1027, 1272, 1079, 1070, 1170, 1173, 1067, 1347, 1100, and 1204. <clears throat> now, if we just did some summary stats, just real quick on column one, just to get the mean, because you know there's no point in running our um, hypothesis test if our average uh, doesn't actually you know end up being what we want it to be in this case it's 1130 and we're saying that it has a mean equal to 1100 well, that's pretty close right so let's run it stat Again, are we doing T's or Z's? We're doing T's because we don't know the standard deviation of the population. One sample, this time with data. Variable one. We're testing against it being equal to 1100 and not being equal to 1100. Compute. There's our p-value. There's our test statistic. We would um, list our test statistic as T equals 0.813. Right, we would list the p-value, and then we would obviously fail to reject, and then say that the data supports the claim, right? Because in this case, the claim is that it's equal. Let's go through the steps just one more time. Number one, the null hypothesis, right? Claim that the population has a mean equal. So mu is equal to 1100. That ends up being our claim. H1 is just not equal to 1100. 2, we have alpha is 0 0.01. 3, we know we're doing a T. And then when we run it, we got a T of I'll just uh, copy this. So there is my T. 0 0.8131. P value 0 0.4371. So step four, fail to reject, because that's a huge p-value. And because we fail to reject, that means we're kind of stuck with the null, right? Because we didn't reject it. So data supports the claim, dot, 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 dot. That's it, guys. That's uh, how easy it is to run hypothesis testing about the mean.